today we are going to have a lab session design and testing of analog circuits in the in the analog circuits today we are going to see the filter circuits one now we are going to see which is the low pass filter second one will be the high pass filter so presently which are showing it is the low pass filter circuit using rc components so rc nothing but one value will be the resistance one value will be the capacitance so our rc circuit for low pass filter will be like this as per the circuit diagram we are going to connect the same circuit into the breadboard we are going to check what is the frequency response in the practical value so in the name itself it shows the low pass filter it means to allow only the low frequency signal with the particular frequency signal it won't allow that higher value which means it won't allow any higher frequency so the same thing we are going to test with the breadboard so here we have a breadboard here horizontal all lines will be the same it all internally short circuited as well as the vertical will be individual it's a independent lines so whenever we want to give any short lines we can use the horizontal one if you want to go for the independent one we can use the vertical lines after the circuit rc circuit diagram we need two components one is the resistor the value of 120 ohm second one will be the capacitance the value of 1 microfarad okay as per the circuit diagram we are going to connect the resistance so now we are connecting the resistance in the breadboard as well as the capacitor connected into the breadboard as per the circuit diagram now the time is going to we are going to feed the input and output points now we are going to give input signal as well as we are going to read the output signal through now we are going to feed input signal through the function generator the output we are going to see through the dso the input connectors is connected to the breadboard we are going to connect into the input point the resistance first terminal we are giving the input positive connection the input negative will going to the capacitor second end as per the circuit diagram the capacitance second end it's connecting now the input is connected the output connectors which is coming from the dso for the output connection the connectors coming from uh, dso we are going to connect into the breadboard the one rn c point which is connected node we are going to connect the first terminal positive terminal the negative terminal will go to the capacitance second terminal which you are going to take as a ground point so now the input and output is connected now we are going to set input parameters for this connection the input parameter we are going to set amplitude of 5 vpp the sinusoidal wave for this circuit we are going to keep the vpp is constant we are going to change only the frequency 
so initially i set into the 0 hertz so it's not taken so minimum of 1 hertz i'm setting i'm starting from 1 hertz so as per the low pass filter circuit we are going to increase the frequency from 0 to that maximum level with the particular stage the low pass frequency will come into the output terminal after particular frequency that output will be filtered using this circuit that output output will be 0 as per this RC low pass filter circuit diagram we connected the circuits in the breadboard input terminal we given to from the function generator we given to the input points the output terminals connected to the DSO. Now initially the set point of we are going to set point VPP is at constant 1 here we are going to change only the frequency here the 5 VPP is setted already we are going to start the frequency from 1 hertz. The set point output now I am just enable the output here in the DSO it is already customized 1 square from this point to this line 1 square will be the 5 volt here we set already 1 square 1, one box will be 5 VPP. So, our set point 5 VPP it is reflected in the DSO in the range of 1 kilohertz. So, now from starting from 1 kilohertz I am going to increase the frequency level we are increasing the frequency the increased frequency level you can be able to see in the DSO the frequency change in frequency you can be able to see from this so now it is changed so roughly 100 200 300 700 800 1 kilohertz so now we can able to see when you are reaching the higher frequency our output amplitude will get reduced those value you have to note down in the tabulation so initially uh, just increasing the frequency level the range of 6 kilohertz now it's 7 8 9, 10. So, in the range of 20 kilohertz, it is roughly our output will get come back to 0 VPP, which means our low pass filter is working perfectly, it is allow the frequency level of 1 hertz to up to 20 kilohertz. If you are increasing more than that, it will not allow any higher frequency. Now, we will make the tabulation as per our input. As per the previous demo, we will obtain two data. Tabulation we have to make for two, for two data points. One is our input frequency output will be the VPP from the DSO. We are increasing the frequency in the range of 0 hertz to 20 kilohertz because which means it is a frequency range it can allow the signal once it goes beyond that 
from here our output will be 5 VPP. So when you are increasing gradually our VPP will get reduced like 4, 3.8, 3.7. So like this at the exact 20 kilohertz it will come back to 0 VPP. So hereafter if you are increasing at any frequency higher frequency level high frequency our output will be remain 0 remain 0 VPP from this our known value the frequency response we can find out from the RC values our used R value will be 120 ohm C value will be 1 microfarad our frequency response we can calculate from this equation 2 by RC this theoretical will be this theoretical value will be calculated using our input data as per note down value this input and output we have to flat into the graph here in the x we have a frequency the y will use our amplitude output amplitude or also you can say as a gain so initially the our frequency start from 0 to max level initially our VPP will remain start from 5 because this is our our set VPP 5 so it start from when it is in the low frequency it will start from 5 when it is reached the our the theoretical frequency level it will start reduce finally our final VPP will come back to the 0 position our RC low pass circuits designed and checked with breadboard using RC components so the entire setup which known as design and testing of analog circuits using RC components. The circuit, our design components, our input parameter and output. The entire setup will be the design and testing of analog circuits for low pass filter.